for all the work that they do. They're coming back to at least in the afternoons. It was pretty nice weather yesterday. Yes. I was out with the dogs. Not that hot. Oh, goodness, Rebecca. Me and you are different temperatures. Oh, my sister. Goodness. <laughs> I mean, but we were in the 80s, I though. I know. It was just real humid. Kind of a little muggy out there. Yeah. Today, though, you might need a Nicer. sweater. Okay. <laughs> it depends on, you know, what you think's hot and what you think's not. But something that is heating up, still dealing a lot with the tropics. Nana, now we're dealing with the remnants of what is left of her. Not looking to be too much of a disturbance as she continues to weaken and push just off to the east. You'll notice right now winds sustained 30 miles per hour. And then we're keeping a very close eye on our tropical depression. Omar, as forecasted, this little guy, he stayed away from us. So that was some good news for the entire East Coast and mainland now beginning anticipated weakening as we will push into that low pressure system. But if you look off the coast of Africa, that's where our hurricanes begin to form. You can tell we got a lot of waves out there and we're going to keep a very close eye on that as they progress. So potentially we could see some more hurricane activity beginning to strengthen over the next bit. Right now we're coming in 75 degrees for us. And as Rebecca mentioned, we do have some cooler air on the horizon and it's going to feel crisp compared to yesterday. Murfreesboro coming in with clear skies, 75 degrees, but some of you are having a difficult time seeing it over into Paris. We're at zero to start off for your visibility as well as just off to our western tier. Then you head closer into Bowling Green. You just drop from two miles to one mile for your visibility. Five in Cookville and then down into Fayetteville. You are at eight miles right here at the screen. Just some ground clutter. Not a big deal, but if you notice You've got the edge of that cold front beginning to move in. Here's some of those clouds pushing into our western tier. There's not a ton in the way of rain with this system, so don't anticipate a ton of widespread shower activity. We can't roll out some as we go throughout the latter portion of our morning. Right now in Kansas City, 61 degrees. Then you head into Music City, 75 and it's not just a temperature difference. It's a dew point difference. It's all about that muggy meter. It is incredibly muggy outside. You feel like you're wearing the weather, but if you go just to St. Louis, you'll notice even 52 and that's the dew point that's going to move into our area, making things comfortable, but for some making it feel a little cold it really just depends on your body temperature. We are going to see a few clouds trying to ease in over the next bit. Slim chance for an isolated shower or two as we approach lunchtime and then we'll notice that clearing from our northwest down to our southeast as we go throughout the day and then tomorrow morning we're waking up in those 50s and 60s. Abundant sunshine will be hanging out with us and temperatures will head back into the 80s, but it will be incredibly comfortable. Here's a look over the next seven days. 86 degrees today. That 30% chance of showers simply for the morning. Majority of you won't even get a drop. Once that system moves in, you'll feel it. You're going to notice that wind change tomorrow morning. We'll start out in those upper 50s, low 60s for the afternoon high of 84. If you're going to be outside, even though our days are getting shorter and we're changing the sun angle, still remember to have it on that sunscreen. Staying dry Sunday as well as Labor Day, but temperatures will ease back up and rain chances still low, but they will be there going into next work week. Ladies.